here. <coughs> All right, so let's talk about this one. And again, sorry about it being a. So read your problem to me first. Go ahead, guys. Molly and Terry like to eat ice cream sandwiches. In one week, Molly ate five ice cream sandwiches, and Terry ate and ice cream sandwiches. They ate a total of 12 ice cream sandwiches all together. Okay. So, so tell me, we can get it up there. There we go. There's your original problem. And talk to me about the work you did. So we knew that our variable was n, and then we did 5 plus n equals 12, because that was our equation that we picked up from the problem. Because because it says that they ate 12 all together, so we knew that that would be our answer. And we knew that we knew that the 5 plus the variable would be equal to 12. So we wrote that down and we did the inverse. So we did 5 minus 5 because they would cancel each other out and it would be the variable. And then we did 12 minus 5 equals 7, so n equals 7. And we also put that right there. And then we rewrote it as the regular problem. Okay, so you checked it down there, is that what you're saying? Yeah, we rewrote it. Okay, and then talk to me about your model. So it had 12, and we circled five, because that's because we knew how many Molly ate. And then the remainder, which is seven, has how many Terry ate. <coughs> okay, so guys, I want to hear some feedback from the rest of the class about their work that they just accomplished. So does